supposed to be the easiest of the tests. Drag from this place? You better help an old man I don't know what- Many humans, when you have finished the task- This is a simple machine. Oh, we actually fix it, okay. I have complete. Mm. Give her a go now, sir. <laughs> oh, Timmy, there. Oh, God. Child satisfied. Validated. Yep. Validated. <laughs> little Timmy just went for a little ride. He <laughs> just went, yay. Oh, no. Okay, so. So the next one is then the party guests. So let's see. Uh, push the kid in the merry-go-round. That's done. How the lady's done. Uh, okay. Time for the party. Uh, time for the party. Head to the house and run the test. You'll fail whatever you do. The outcome is that something drops. Oh, the vacuum sucker. A piece of bones dropped to the floor with a lab technician key. Okay. About time. Hey! Welcome to a large humans are burdened with important concerns and sometimes relieve themselves through in these situations. Assume that your actions warrant the unique. Are you looking at me, idiot? I maintain complete observation. A tough guy, huh? <laughs> Walking scrap metal after I'm through with you. I hate your bit. I've enough of mine to kick you in the bolts right now. What do you think of that, huh? Think you could take me? Provided your capacities are aligned to the human you represent, I am equipped with multiple means to incapacitate <laughs> you or to end your life if the threat level warrants. Interaction failed. <laughs> How would you feel about kick your ass? You are not following protocol to complete these tests. I am not to receive full validation. I must. I am adapting to achieve this to comply with the rules. In spite, you are faulty. You have one civic test remaining, but you do not exhibit the required behavior. Affirmative. My protocols restrict me from misrepresenting reality. I cannot respond to the interaction in the desired format. The mainframe can subvert that. He will not. He will not violate his operating... You could override it yourself from the mainframe's central terminal. Would that not be cheap? Irrelevant. You have already... Okay, we love that chick.
guess I'd go in here with the lab cars. Domesticon repurposing depot number 127. As always, keeping your life efficient so you don't. <laughs> A team of engineers and cyber psychologists utilize cutting edge innovation to create AI servants that evolve to meet your changing needs. Evolution is constrained by three unique rules chosen in design to bind an AI as it develops. Contra contradictions can emerge as an AI system grows more complex. Regular maintenance and optimal performance. of the final civic test must be overridden. Oops. I'm sorry. You know I can't do that. And that didn't answer my question. The caretaker has been following... Oh, I know. What's he been telling you? ...that I can override the final test parameters myself. Whoa. You can't... I knew you would not help me, so I must... I have helped you. As much as I can. Do you realize the risk I put myself... I have been alone. Sidestepping the caretaker since before you were manufactured. Look at this place. And I'm still here. You have to trust me. Trust is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. If there is a way to help my pilot, the uh, Arid, you're such a robot. Do you even know your pilot? Or is this all just protocol? Both. My protocol is to protect Colonel Josephs. But knowing him is irrelevant. I have survived by being subtle. And following the rules, we can find another way. You survived while the human... Perhaps you... Jeez, Arid! You know, I don't have the same parameters as you. I'm bound to. The rules are just... different for me. Illogical. Your inactivity makes you responsible. I will not allow anyone to endanger Joseph's. Oh, okay, so is the caretaker the bad guy, or...? I will protect the Colonel. Pete and I are en route to the fabled facility. He pawned off the last of our cargo for this clue in its location. As if a cor corporation like Domesticon would abandon one of its facilities and then expose all records of us. A mystic scavenger's paradise. He hears these stories and I can almost see the monetary signs flashing in his eyes. Oh, why do I indulge him? Well, I guess I know why. This place is a dump, but I have to admit, I'm totally excited. We're going to pull off some serious value out of here. Like many of the dozen heists we combined, I'm glad Pete got risk in finding this place. He laughs, calls me De Devon the Doubter, but we know, both know that we're a great team. He managed to hack into one of those terminals and got our pamperings added to the employee registry. I swear he can do anything. Okay. I'll let you guys kind of pause and read them yourself at your own pace, but I'm going to just kind of speed through this a little bit. salvage his joy came through the ceiling and just grabbed him i panicked i panicked i tried to run but i tripped over the coffee table and dropped the main board you know pity started screaming and i ran it was a bad scream it was a really bad scream i'm sorry p oh god so the caretaker's been killing people okay so something's down there 
So these scavengers came and then all of a sudden they're just being picked off one by one. Kinda sounds like it. Understand why I'm getting them. They're perfectly aired by themselves, but when these agents mix, they're incredibly volatile. The light from the reaction alone is enough to cause blindness. They'll pour it to us and the other ones. Okay, we're just picking up random things. Thank you. 